We've been uh, doing this for 10 years, canning beer. Started in a small little town of Lyons, Colorado. I was a home brewer, brewing on the weekends. One day we decided to put a little uh, glorified homebrew system in the basement of the restaurant and started brewing a flagship beer, Dale's Pale Ale, uh, that I brewed in a bathtub in, in Auburn, actually. And it was a joke uh, name given to my beer because at the time it was pretty bad. And uh, my, my best friend uh, decided to name it Dale's Pale Ale. Uh, one thing led to another about five years into the business. Uh, the idea of canning beer came along and we uh, decided to entertain the gentleman from Canada that was introducing this machine to us that could can craft beer two at a time. When I started with Oscar Blues seven and a half years ago, uh, we were still doing uh, relatively a pretty small amount of beer at the time. I remember our first 400 barrel month and uh, you know, and I, I used to keep track. I would every month I would be like, you know, okay, there's our first 500 barrel, there's our first 600. I'm not sure at what point it was that I stopped counting, but now we're regularly producing about 8,000 barrels every month, which is uh, about 3,000 barrels more than we did my entire first year with the brewery. We decided to challenge the consumer that you could put craft beer in a can without any off flavor. The beer was going to stay fresher longer. It was more portable. It was more recyclable. And hell, it made you feel like an American drinking a can of beer. November 2002, we sold our first can of beer, and it was on a two-head filler, uh, and seaming it one at a time, putting it in a six-pack ring, manually six-packing it. And then we'd do this during the, the night, and then in the day, we'd load it onto a truck and drove it straight to the retailer and sold one can of beer at a time. We were able to, at a very grassroots level, become educators to the retailer, and to the customer because we were doing it one at a time. And that's how craft beer is still sold to this day. It's very grassroots. Uh, our organization is very events based and we like to go to retail and crack open a can of beer and say, do you like it? And it's, it's, it's pretty much that simple. As Dale's Pale Ale turns 10 years old, we're continuing to look at what we can do to push the boundaries in craft beer in a can. Things are flying, you know? We're not doing one at a time hand canning anymore. We're doing 280 cans a minute. Dave and, and the boys got a lot of things in place to make sure the beer is consistent and is really good. The thing that I'm most excited about with it is the fact that we're producing better beer than we ever have. We've got so many more people involved. You know, back when I started, there were about four of us who were doing everything from, from brewing to cellaring to packaging. And uh, now, heck, I've got seven people just on my brewing staff, let alone the uh, half a dozen people in the cellar and about a dozen people in packaging, and we have three people in our lab now. And it's always been this combined efforts of all these people who really care greatly about the beer that they, that they all help to make that we're able to uh, produce better beer and a whole bunch more of it than we ever have. Ah, uh, forgive me. That's my first taste of hops in a week. I've been in Italy qualifying our new machine that'll run the keg line or that run the kegs at our new brewery in, Bre in Brevard, North Carolina. So as you look behind me now, we've just completed the expansion in the Longmont Brewery to get us to where we can do 100,000 barrels a year of production. We can uh, fulfill all of our distributors needs and keep the customers happy. In terms of other growth, the most exciting thing right now is a new project in Brevard, North Carolina. We're two and a half months away from brewing our first batch in a brewery that'll open doing 40,000 barrels a year and have capacity of over 100,000 barrels a year. In addition to the 16 ounce can, we're doing some cool stuff with Ball Corporation like the Shaka can, collaboration with those guys at Sun King from Indianapolis. And we got some new can packages on the horizon that are gonna be coming out in the next couple months as well. We added a new vessel into the brew house, a fourth vessel, so that we were able to go from five brews a day to eight brews a day. We're looking to get with the rest of the improvements to be able to get closer to nine brews every 24 hours. And that's big, because we're because we're rocking the brew house five to seven days a week, 24 hours a day. About two years ago, uh, I got with Dale Katechis. He wanted to vertically integrate Oscar Blues as a brewery with his two restaurants and he's owned this beautiful 50 acre farm here for a while. And so we sat down and put together a sustainability plan uh, that was gonna involve hop production, beef production, uh, vegetable production, pork production, 
all in the uh, emphasis of, of taking this great farm that's here in Boulder County and making it a part of the brewery and using brewery outflows that we can reconstitute at the farm here and bring them back into the restaurants to kind of complete that sustainable circle. My piece in this whole thing was, you know, the food side and, you know, Jeff's a farmer, I'm a chef and we got to work together and, you know, collaborate on how to process these meats. And that was probably the best, the best piece was, um, you know, working from, almost working backwards and going, okay, we already have a great burger. We already serve, you know, these X amount of great steaks. Now let's make it our meat. You know, we take a lot of time and pride on how we make our beer, so we're doing the same here now with our beef. We raise 100% uh, certified all natural Angus beef. Uh, we have a Berkshire pork program. And we have two acres of uh, high trellis hops that consist of eight varieties here that's specifically for one-off uh, small batches of fresh hop stuff that uh, the brewers can have fun with back at the brewery. Dale's biggest concern is how do you take the culture of what we were doing back in Lyons when we were still small uh, and translate that over to this place that's ten times bigger than that and with a heck of a, of a bunch more people. Dale's done a great job of keeping this thing fun. We're we're looking at turning 10 years old. We got uh, the Tasty Weasel Tap Room's got a great vibe. We got Ski Ball, special Perkin tappings. We got our food truck outside, keeping everything fun, integrating bikes, beer, music. As craft brewers, we sell quality. You want the best package for your beer, and a can is that, and it's not real arguable. Even the purists that are out there can't provide a great argument about you know why the can isn't a better vessel. Cheers to you all out there. I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for what you do. Uh, it is a hard grind out there and we wouldn't be where we are today without a doubt, without the support of all the distributors uh, across the country. I believe we have 65 distributors. Thank you for what you do and uh, here's to another great year. Cheers, thank you.